Right. Uh, this is going to be a real quick video just covering um, ongoing development of the Mega Drive uh, support and Scorpion engine. Uh, it's still a long way from being viable, but um, this weekend, especially, we've made some good progress. Uh, so I'm running the experimental uh, Scorpion engine uh, 2023.0. Um, I'll just switch it over to the Mega Drive platform. Um, I've still got Do Not Use because it's still not um, functional, but um, I did want to cover what is currently running. Um, so as you can see, there's just not that many options there because uh, there just haven't been... Uh, well, a lot of those options were Amiga-specific, but the Mega Drive counterparts haven't been uh, implemented yet. Uh, this open with the emulator button is new, so um, with the Amiga outputs, a very specifically supported WinUAE and FSUAE. Um, with the Mega Drive output, I haven't yet settled on a, a recommended emulator, so just any emulator you have should be fine so long as it can open um, a Mega Drive ROM from the um, from the command line. So let's um, compile it, run it, and see what we get. Uh, and I'll go through with... Um... Oops, okay. I guess I forgot to... Um... I forgot to hook up the emulator. I'll do that right now. Okay, so I just wanted to cover... Um, uh, the reason why the Scorpion Engine logo has a lot less colors here is because the Amiga version uses the copper to change the palette scan line by scan line. We should be able to do the same thing on the Mega Drive version. It just hasn't been done yet. So I'll let it continue. So we've got our title screen uh, faded in. Uh, you might have noticed that the fade in wasn't as smooth as the Amiga version. Uh, also, the colors were a bit different. And that's, uh, that's essentially because the palette on the well, the, the, the color depth capabilities on the Mega Drive are actually closer to the Atari ST than the Amiga, so you are going to have those um, less smooth fade-ins. Um, the other thing about this panel is if I go into the... Um, let's have a look at the, uh, the VDP to see what we've got here. So this is actually originally a 32 color image. Um, with the current version of Scorpion, what it's done here is it's taken that 32 colors and then it's split it into um, three different 16 color palettes um, because each each tile can only be uh, one of these four 16 color palettes. You, ca you can't have like a 32 color tile. So, um, so because of that, it does the best it can to try and take pretty much any image and then squeeze it into um, these the four 16 color palettes if it can okay so going on from there we've got um, we can actually sort of progress from here um, we can push the B button on the Mega Drive pad and then that will fade out um, we get the red screen of death here because levels aren't implemented yet so implementing um, you know, loading tile maps and then being able to scroll scroll them, um, I guess is going to be the next step. Um, so yeah, uh, there's uh, it's still a long way from um, being viable um, for Mega Drive development, but it's uh, certainly getting closer. Um, you probably couldn't make a game with it as it is unless you were to do some sort of like uh, pick a path type adventure game. Um, the so we've got we've got some support for the panels, although we can't currently display on screen text, uh, on screen score, lives that sort of thing. Um, the code blocks logic system is fully compiling for Mega Drive, though. There's a lot of things like uh, level loading where it just won't do anything yet. And uh, input is working to some degree. It can read the uh, joystick buttons um, and directions, although, again, without 
the levels running yet there's not too much you can do with um with that data and uh yeah um so i'm fairly happy with um how progress is going um uh, uh maybe in the next few months we'll actually be able to have um scorpion levels uh running on the mega drive output um, if for some reason you really wanted to um tinker with this Again, it's all on the experimental Scorpion 